This is I'm Stuck, and in this video we are looking at the space race. So the space race was an area of competition between the US and the USSR in which the countries could prove their superiority. Now it was also noted that the ability of building a satellite would give the country an advantage in the arms race. So the Soviets claimed their first victory in the technological arms race when in October 1957 they launched the first ever satellite to orbit the Earth. Now this was called Sputnik. Now in November a dog called Laika was launched into a 10 day orbit in Sputnik 2. Now these developments in the Soviet space technology frightened the USA as they believed that the USSR would use this technology for launching nuclear missiles. Now this meant that Democrats accused the Republican Eisenhower administration of allowing the Soviet Union to overtake the US in space technology. Now at first, the US response to Sputnik was a failure as on the 6th of December 1957, the US Navy's Vanguard rocket crashed on its takeoff from Cape Canaveral. Now ultimately, this was referred to as Flopnik. Now this meant that by September 1958, the US government had authorised $1 billion for technological development in space. Eisenhower also established the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is now known as NASA and was known as NASA and is obviously extremely famous. Now this was because all US leaders believe that control of space would lead to better security. Now, the Soviet space program, which was led by Sergei Korolev, continued to build upon their early successes when in 1959, Luna 2 became the first space probe to hit the moon. Now, on the 12th of April 1961, the first manned satellite to orbit the Earth was launched, and the man inside was Yuri Gagarin, and he became an international hero. However, by 1962, the US had essentially caught up with the Soviets, as the US had successfully launched 63 space missions, compared to the USSR's 15. Now, in the same year, John Glenn also became the first American to orbit the Earth, and the foundations of the lunar landing project, Project Apollo, were in place. Now, although Apollo suffered a setback in 1967 when three men died when a rocket caught fire, this was followed by two successes. Now, firstly, in 1968, Apollo 8 was the first manned space mission to orbit the moon, and this was followed by the launch of Apollo 11 in Ju on July the 16th, 1969. And on Apollo 11, the astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins set off on the first lunar landing attempt. Now, four days later, on July the 20th, Neil Armstrong became the first man to set foot onto the moon. Now, on the other hand, by 1966, the Soviet space effort had started to die out, partly due to questions of its necessity and the death of Sergei Korolev in 1966. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.